I'm Joseph, owner, creator, and operator of the Owen 30 Mosquito Creek Lumber Company a Swamp Log and Railroad. And here we are, part three of our swamp trestle build. So let's go out into the uh, workshop there, the garage, and uh, start staining the rest of the materials that I just got. Well, I've gathered some uh, materials, not exactly what I wanted, but I uh, got some quarter inch squares, three feet long. So I've got a bunch of those and my goodness, I don't know if you've bought strip wood lately, <laughs> but it's this piece here is three dollars and something you can get a two by two by eight dimensional lumber for five dollars and something so uh, it's getting out of hand this stuff and the other thing i picked up for the bents are some uh, bamboo dowel rods which uh, i got in the kick decorating section of walmart since i didn't go to uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or another hobby shop craft store. So uh, these aren't too bad. They're made out of bamboo and I'll probably have to paint these instead of stain them, but that's okay. I think they'll be fine. Let's come into focus here. And as you can see, these are just around probably 11 inches in diameter in O scale and uh, I think they should be, I think they should be fine. I've used similar stuff before and they work fine. And uh, while I'm getting ready to do some staining, uh, drinking a little bit of uh, afternoon coffee in my Mosquito Creek Lumber Company exclusive mug. And I just wanted to jump in here real fast to tell you that we're closely getting, we're quickly approaching the 1,000 subscriber mark on this YouTube channel, the Mosquito Creek Owen 30 Lumber Company uh, Railroad Swamp Logger. And one of these cups is going to be one of uh, the prizes I'll be giving away when we hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to take uh, all the subscribers' names, and out of all of those 1,000 or so subscribers, going to pick three. Uh, one will get this mug. Another one will get a Mosquito Creek Lumber Company sticker, vinyl die-cut sticker. And uh, the top prize will be a Mosquito Creek Lumber Company ball cap. So uh, be sure if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel to do so. Hit the, sub the, hit the subscribe button. Also like the videos, comment, share them with your model railroading friends. And coming up here real soon, we'll do a live broadcast where we'll give these swag things, the merch, as they say, away to three lucky subscribers to the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company Owen 30 YouTube channel. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. going to stain these bamboo dowels and uh, they're a little bit <clears throat> less porous than regular basswood or balsa obviously so what I've done with my stain mixture I've added a little bit more of the black shoe dye and another good uh, portion of the dark gray craft paint and uh, mixed it up there's not uh, a lot of mixture here, 
not a lot of rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol in there. And uh, let's see how that looks. Well, that was a lot better. That's a little bit darker, and I think that's going to work work pretty good for me. Just uh, then I, I won't have to paint, and it'll kind of blend in with the rest of the trestle rather than having something look like it's painted when all the other wood is stained. So... Hard to see that it's still wet, but uh, we'll check back when that dries. As you remember, we cut out this uh, plain newsprint and uh, laid it on the rails and then traced out the top of the rails on it and then cut it into uh, a thin strip, did it for uh, the curve of the trestle. So this gives me a great idea of how long the trestle is and gives me the exact radius of the curve so I can do the uh, support stringers using this as a template. So because I couldn't find any other lumber around uh, my neck of the cornfields here in southern Minnesota and didn't want to travel in snowstorms in order to get up to a bigger city to a Hobby Lobby or Michael's, I'm going to use these 12 by 12 posts, that's O scale, they're a quarter inch square pieces of strip wood, so a quarter inch is a foot, right? And quarter inch scale, 148 scale, O scale. So um, these are going to be the stringers underneath the rails, very right below the, the track. So time to start measuring these, marking them, and getting them cut. set up a board on top of my workbench, clamped it down, and then I've got my uh, Midwest Products Easy Miter Box. Got that, or you can also purchase these aluminum ones, which are good too. I'll just use this one because it has a very large lip to catch the edge of the table or the board. And now I gotta find where my mark was. Line that up with the straight cut slots. And give that a slice off with the old razor saw. Here's my other cut. And again, as a reminder, this is a uh, backwoods swamp log and railroad and uh, in the late 40s, early 50s. And this is probably what's going to be a temporary trestle to a cutting area and the landing. And as soon as the uh, cypress is logged out of there, they'll probably abandon this line and head somewhere else. So... The construction on this is going to reflect that. Just a, uh, a quick, low-budget trestle, just enough to get the job done for the logging company. So that's the look I'm going for. So instead of the heavy-duty mainline stringers and the multiple stringers and all that, I'm just using a couple 12 by 12 posts, some beams, and then we'll build our uh, trestle from there. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna set these two pieces aside. I don't need this template anymore right this second. 
Now I'm going to bring the uh, curved section in and this is going to be a little bit more sign and a little bit more angled because I need to follow the curve around here. Obviously you can't use uh, too long of a straight piece before you have to start angling them around. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm measuring out what my the top vent is going to be, how wide I want it. And I'm thinking just for uh, looks and when I take in consideration how wide the ties are, I think I'm going to make the top vents 10 feet, tails 10 scale feet in length. So let's start cutting some of these. I'm uh, putting a pencil mark at 10 feet between uh, the cut slot and the end here. So that's 10 feet. So when I bring my wood out to this point, line it up with that and cut, I'll have a 10 foot piece. One down, I'm figuring I'm going to need 10 trestle bents to support the track on this swamp trestle. So I'm going to cut 10 of these. Two. Too short. Firewood. I'm kind of torn between uh, using these 12 by 12 posts or these eight and a half, 11 inch round uh, pier pilings. Now, I can always use these guys somewhere around by the wharf, by the uh, mosquito camp, what have you. It just depends on what look I want. And I've got a ton of uh, both. Hmm. What should I do? Should I go with the round poles or with the square beams? Let me know what you would have done by making a comment in the comment section below. Hmm. Pondering. A or B. Well, considering that I want a backwoods feel and kind of a more fragile looking trussle, I think I'm going to have to go with A, the round pilings, rather than the 12 by 12 posts. This looks more substantial, like it um, would be at a log dump at the mill over the log pond where you're Got a lot of weight and a lot of um, stress and strain. This looks like it's something that would be in the backwoods. So for me, it's the round dowels.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the stringers to underneath the flex track using some accelerator and some uh, super glue AC. So what I'm going to do is spray the top of that and then add a good bead of super glue down the center and then come up. I'm going to do the back one first. Center it underneath the rail, just like that, and let it hold for a second, and there we go. I'm going to clamp this just to uh, keep it in place, and there we go, and we'll, uh, we'll check it and see how it's doing, if it needs more ACC, we'll give it another shot. Let's do the other one here. Same thing, accelerator. Put that in place. There it is, centered uh, over, under the rail, I guess I should say. Give it a couple seconds to adhere. Good. Clamp it down just to keep it in, in place. So I've got all the outside stringers just laid down in the order that they need to go on the top of the track. And I'm gonna get those glued in Then I'll do the same thing with the uh, inside curve pieces. That's the one thing I like about Owen 30 and freelance model railroading, especially the theme that I'm doing is a uh, backwoods swamp logging railroad where 
the days before OSHA. <laughs> you could kind of get away with haphazard construction and that's, I think, what gives Owen 30 its charm is that it's not mainline class one railroad perfect and which is good for me and probably you too if you don't have the machine skills and fine detailing skills it's forgiving it actually adds more charm i think to your model railroad by having a crooked trestle bent or a piece of track that's a little bit out of line i just i think that's all part of the charm of owen 30 and because I'm a lone wolf modeler and not a uh, person who is going to be entering my work in contests and things, I, uh, I think what I'm capable of doing, the skill set that I do have, uh, works fine. You know, and I think if your skill set isn't contest worthy or whatever, that you shouldn't let that stop you from doing stuff. I don't know if this is prototypical or if it would hold up an actual train, but by looking at some historic photos of the Louisiana swamp, the track they were laying was going right on top of the pilings. They were spiking it into the pilings. There wasn't even a stringer underneath it. So I think you can take your artistic license in Owen 30 modeling and uh, have fun with it. going to wrap it up for this edition of the Swamp Trestle project. Uh, we've got all the bents made. They're all in place. Now it's time to uh, really detail things up, get the flex track painted so it matches the uh, stained wood and the bamboo. I'll also be uh, painting a base dark color for the swamp water and uh, we'll be getting some other things done and I'll fill you in on those final touches when I get around to doing that but uh, for right now everything looks pretty darn good and it's supporting the trains so now I just have to hook up the electricity to it get the DCC rocking on the Owen 330 layout and uh, we'll be uh, good to go and again I just want to emphasize that this is in no way <laughs> A craftsman job on this trestle. Uh, it gets the job done for what I need it for and like I said the surrounding scenery is going to be the star of this center scene here on the layout. I will add a few details to the trestle here and there but if you're looking for a craftsman build for uh, contests so you can win first prize and all that this wasn't it. <laughs> It's kind of a fly by the seat of my pants. Whatever looks good, whatever uh, fits and, and works, that's the way we, we go. Not having a hobby shop within a couple miles of the house, you know, we can order online, but uh, still a lot of times you gotta have your fingers on them and, you know, yeah, that looks right rather than seeing something online on a catalog. So that's the way we fly here. I'd say folk art representation of a swamp a logging railroad uh, rather than an exact prototype right down to the rivet. So I'm sorry craftsmen, I'm sorry rivet counters, uh, this wasn't your video, but I appreciate everybody watching, everybody subscribing. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, 
and uh, like the videos. Please put your comments down there. They're great. We're uh, quickly approaching 1,000 subscriptions, and that means that we're going to have a, a big drawing of all our subscribers coming out once uh, we hit 1,000. So be looking for a notification on that so you can watch and win. All right. So until next time, keep swatting those skeeters. Thanks for watching Mosquito Creek Lumber Company, Owen 30, Swamp Logging Railroad. Living alone.